Welcome to your Go Market update and charts of the day for today. It's Tuesday, the 21st of November. Mike Smith and Alex at Go Markets to lead you around what's happening today as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Let's just have a look at what's coming across the news first. We saw another positive session in US equities as markets tested key levels to the upside. The Nasdaq is now at highs and up since January 2022. We've seen Microsoft and Nvidia, two leaders in the AI space, hit all time highs, and that's certainly helping big tech along. US futures are pretty flat in early Asian trading at this stage, and Asian markets are generally cautiously positive in early trading. Following that US lead to a degree, the ASX is struggling to hold 0.2% of the upside, and we are seeing other indices slightly positive. The Nikkei is a little weak at this stage. The VIX was weaker again, is it now at eight week lows, and European futures are pointing to a positive open this afternoon. The US dollar index continues to look weak, and it breached the 200 day EMA. The US dollar index breached the 200 EMA support a couple of days ago and continues to fall to August levels now. Gold is choppy and continues to eye 2000 level, but possibly isn't responding quite as vigorously to the upside as we thought it might on that USD weakness. Copper has breached the 200 MA to the upside and is at nearly at three month highs and all has rebounded from early July, early July levels it hit a couple of days ago. Bitcoin still testing that 38,000 key technical level and as well as the end of the earnings season this week in the US we have the RBA minutes released and the FOMC minutes the highlight of the day released late tonight. Also got some Canadian CPI due, which will obviously impact the Canadian dollar. Later on in the week, we've got global PMI numbers coming out. Uh, that is also a highlight and one to keep an eye on. Just a couple of charts that caught our eye today. On the ASX web jet looking interesting. We can see this reversal here, which has pulled us back up to the 200 MA. Just paused there at this stage today, but a breach of 675 would be interesting uh, possibly see us up to around about 730 in the first instance technically one to keep an eye on certainly on the fx front one that we don't usually cover but we are seeing some interesting technical action on the australian hong kong dollar if we look at the hourly chart here you can see here we are testing a key level at 511.59 to the upside it looks very keen to give this another another go as it did several times yesterday if we put this into context and you can see this is high if we put this into context this is the high for the australian dollar since the end of july and we're seeing the 200 ma sitting there around about 512 so there could be a 40 to 60 pip move to the upside in this if we breach this five if we move higher from here, trade safe and see you again soon. Bye bye for now.